Oh yeah, you can have three monitors on a MacBook Air M1. What's happening YouTube for Word Tech Tricks Black Knight video? And today we're looking at the Anchor 563 USB-C docking station 10 in 1. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit that, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of next videos to come of tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how you can connect three monitors on M1 and M2 Max. Here we go. Let's open this up and see how well it does. Boom, pretty slick, pretty small as well. Very great design by Anchor. There you go. Has some literature right here. Put that on the side. Let's keep opening this up. Power adapter, power brick. Boom. Also the USB-C to USB-C cable. Power adapter. So this is the anchor right here. This is where you would connect your MacBook Air M1 with the 100 watt charging port, USB-C, Thunderbolt. There's the 4K slot for the HDMI. It also indicates here that this is only for 2K slot right there and then the display port right there. There's also the Ethernet slot right there and then that's how you would power up the docking station. On the other side, there's a power button headphone jack USB-C to charge your devices up to 30 watts right there or connect different stuff as well to transfer rate of 5 gigabytes per second again USB 3 with the 5 gigabytes per second transfer speed as well and then if you want to use a mouse and keyboard you can use this with that at the same time uh, you can use that for a normal USB 2 type devices so we have our Anchor 563 docking station right here. It has the display port right there, two HDMI ports. This is connected to our MacBook, as you can see there. Two of the USBs are actually powering up our two monitors because they are a portable monitor. And then there's two more USB slots that we can use for a keyboard and a mouse. Now that we connected all the monitors to our MacBook, we're going to download the driver as well i'm going to link this down in the description below but basically this is a display link manager and then once you've downloaded that we're going to install it on our macbook probably need to restart and then this is what it would look like once it's all installed here you can different options here like launch automatically after login the change the display rotation from 90 80 to 270 degrees and there's also the Apple Watch Unlock login screen. Where you don't have to go to the MacBook to unlock it, you can use your Apple Watch. As long as it's in the vicinity, you'll be able to unlock your MacBook. Once it's all done, boom! Oh yeah, you can have three monitors on the MacBook Air M1. Put your MacBook down and your monitors will still work. Beauty! Let's open some stuff here like YouTube, Google Docs. Those of you are crazy with your multitasking, put it all in here. You could put it on the other monitor as well. If you wanted to toss it in here, there you go. Then what you could do is um, watch a video right here and put it on right there. And there you go. And then after all that, you could just close that and you're ready to go. Use it as a clamshell mode have your productivity still have three monitors and ready to go and that's for today everyone thanks for watching i hope i was able to help you on your choice this one is the anchor 563 i would recommend it for people who want triple monitor on your macbook air m1s and possibly the next m series as well if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below so go ahead and check that out make sure to subscribe to my channel as well so you can see more videos to come make sure to hit that notification bell as well and hit all so that you can see all the videos coming make sure to hit the like button as well so we can beat that youtube algorithm i hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful peace